Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Maria Muzichuk and Hampi Conero. This game was played in St. Louis in 2020. Maria Muzichuk had white pieces and she started with e4. Hampi Conero played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. The Russian defense. White to move instead of the standard knight takes on e5. Maria Muzichuk played d4. Knight takes on e4. Bishop to d3, d5, knight takes on e5, knight to d7, knight to c3, knight takes on c3, pawn takes knight, bishop to d6, and both players cast at king's side. This popular line was seen many times in the past. Let's take the last move back. If knight takes on e5, then d takes on e5, and then Black plays bishop to c5. Black does not take the pawn on e5 because of rook to e1. And white is winning the piece. Back to our game. So, Hampi Conero castled kingside. Rook to e1. Bishop takes on e5. This is the most played move. D takes on e5. Knight to c5 attacking the bishop which is aiming at h7. Rook to b1, knight takes on d3, c takes on d3, b6, and now rook to b4. The rook is going to the king's side. Bishop to f5, queen to f3, c5, rook to f4, bishop to g6, h4, h5. Why to move? How would you continue? Perhaps d4 comes to mind, or maybe even e6. What do you think? There was a big surprise. Maria Muzicu played g4. Is that a risky move or not? Black to move, queen takes on h4. Queen to g2, black to move, queen to e7. Let's take it back. If something like rook from a to e8, then g5. And white wins the queen. Back to our game. Hampi Conero played the queen to e7. Black won the pawn and is ready to stand the storm. G takes on h5. Bishop takes on h5. Rook to e3. What a picture. Most of the time, bishops get in the game first. Rook from f to e8. Queen to h2, g6, white to move. How would you continue? Maria Muzichuk played rook to f5. Quite an artistic move, isn't it? Hampi Conero played bishop to g4. She didn't want to experiment with g takes on f5 when queen takes the bishop and the black king is exposed. Back to our game. Bishop to g4. Rook to f4. Bishop to h5. White to move. Can white make any progress? How would you continue? Maria Muzichuk played e6. f takes on e6. Black is now two pawns up. Rook to g3. Black to move. King to h7. There was no time to bring the other rook in the game because then a queen takes on h5. Back to our game. King to h7. Rook to h4. Queen to f7. Again, if, if black plays something like rook from a to d8, then rook takes on h5. And after g takes on h5, queen takes on h5 checkmate. Back to our game. Queen to f7. Rook to g5, rook to g8. It is white to move and this is the critical moment. I picked this one to be the most critical moment of the game. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? First, I will show you a move that doesn't work and that is rook from g takes on h5. Check. 
then g takes on h5. Check to the white king, and after king to f1, king to g6. After rook takes on h5, queen to f3. And like by some miracle, black king would survive. Unbelievable. Back to our game. That is why Maria Muzicuk played king to f1. Absolutely the best move. The game continued. Queen to f3. Discouraging rook takes bishop on h5. Let's see how this is discouraging rook from g takes on h5. If rook from g takes on h5, g takes on h5, rook takes on h5 check, king to g6, and the black king lives. Back to our game. So if rook from g takes on h5 doesn't work, what is the solution then? The solution is rook from h takes on h5 check g takes on h5 how is this going to work this is what maria muzicuk had in mind queen to c7 check king to h8 queen to e5 check king to h7 and now rook takes on h5 check king to g6 queen to g5 check king to f7 White played a move and black designed and the move is rook to h7 check. Conero designed. If king goes to e8, queen to e7 check mate. And what else? If rook to g7, queen takes on g7 check. And after king to e8, queen to e7 check mate. And let's have a look at this final position. Black rook on a8 and white dark squared bishop on c1 never moved but the difference between them is that white dark squared bishop participated in the game while the black rook was sleeping that was a pure attacking brilliancy by maria muzichuk what do you think of this game and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.